First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. You're not going to believe this, folks, but we have on the line right now, across the pond over in the UK, Mr. Tom Hugard, Trader Tom. How are you doing, Tom? Hey, how are you? Yes, it's uh, I am hi, Larry. Good. How are you? Congrat congratulations on your new book, The Best Loser Wins. Tell the folks a little bit about the book. And it's gotten tremendous reviews so far, Tom. So tell the folks uh, what the book is about and why you wrote it. Okay, why don't I tell you how the book came about? Because That's what we'd like to hear. I, yep. have, a, 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 I have a distinguished career on a trading floor. And then I started trading for myself. And I thought, why am I not as good <laughs> when I'm at home as I was when I was sat on a trading floor? Uh, I was nowhere near as well capitalized, and I didn't have my network of other traders, and I felt that I couldn't bridge the gap between what I, what I was able to do back then my, with my knowledge and what I was doing when I was setting uh, by myself. There was this knowledge gap, um, and essentially what the book is all about is how you bridge the gap between what you know and what you are willing to act on. There's a great scene in, the, in a movie called Batman Begins where uh, Liam Neeson, I think his name is Raj Gaul in the movie, and Dan Christian Bale, who is, of course, Batman in disguise. They're, they're having a fighting scene on a, on a frozen lake. And, 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 and uh, Batman is essentially saying that he couldn't defend his parents because he didn't have the skill to fight. And Raj Gaul is, is lambasting him for saying, knowledge is nothing, the will to act is everything. And it was something that truly resonated with me when I saw that movie. And so it happened that I went walking in the mountains in Spain um, after taking some time out, after I was made redundant uh, and under the financial crisis in 2009. And I happened to meet one of your special forces soldiers who was also uh, ex uh, sorry, retired uh, from the Navy SEALs. And he was telling me about how elite soldiers in America uh, circumnavigate their natural uh, impulses, fear impulses, and how they basically desensitize their fear impulses. And it was something that truly resonated with me because I felt that I was brilliant at technical analysis. There was nothing that I hadn't researched and investigated when it came to technical analysis. But I felt that there was a that there was this 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 void between what I could see on a chart and I was actually able to implement. And so the story actually came about, or the book came about, was because I was contacted by one of my old colleagues who was now the CEO of a brokerage company in London, and he asked me if I wanted to train their clients, their Danish clients, in technical analysis. And I said, well, yeah, I'd like to, but I also want to train them in, in my mental analysis and how I approach trading, because I don't think that we are unsuccessful traders because we don't know enough about technical analysis. I think we are unsuccessful traders because we don't know enough about ourselves and how our, our ancestral DNA, you know, the, the, those bodies that have survived for thousands and thousands of years and have thrived in, in harsh conditions and how those conditions have been pre-programmed into our DNA, how to respond. In, in essence, Larry, I don't think that human beings are essentially made to be very good traders because we, are, we tend to be fearful when we should be hopeful, and we tend to be hopeful when, in fact, we should be fearful. And so I started training the Danish clients, and this is about 10 years ago. And then it just so happened that after having done that for a couple of years, I was called to a meeting with the CEO in London again, and he said, I don't know what it is you're doing, but when you look at the profile of the traders in Denmark and their uh, their behavioral patterns, in particular when they take profits and when they take the losses, 
you see that they are significantly more profitable than the profile for the rest of our clients, which are spanning worldwide. And so I don't know what you're doing and what you're teaching them, but please carry on because it makes for excellent clients because they actually make money. And so I started writing this book in 2012, and in 2019, I sent it to the publisher, and it was 250,000 words, and they said, can't, can't, can't publish a 250,000-word book. You have to cut it down, which is a bit like, you know, <laughs> having to cut off a limb of, a, of, of your child. <laughs> but nevertheless, we, we actually managed to, we managed to, 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 to boil it down, the essence of the, of the, of, of the book is now a manageable 75,000 word. And it's essentially a, it says, it's almost like a DNA profile on how, what you have to become to become a profitable trader. And there's, there's, there, there's perhaps 2% of technical analysis in the book, and the rest are just stories about how I came to be where I am today and how I trained other people. And, and I just want to point something out here. I'm not, this is not, my, my job is not to train people. I just love doing it, and I love writing the process. And then I just felt that the book needed to be written because it's not a book about technical analysis. It's basically a book about how you need to think because normal thinking, normal behavioral thinking just doesn't cut it if you want to be a good day trader. Mm -hmm. That's what the book is about. Well, that's good. Well, the title of it, The Best Loser Wins, makes a big description of how you have to think. You know, that's, that's for sure. And you've spent a great, great deal of time telling people how to do that. How did you come up with the title, Best Loser Wins, Tom? That's just a fabulous title. I, I actually stole it. Would you believe it? And I stole it from a famous, famous American trader who is anonymous. He, he wrote a book together with a gentleman called Art Simpson, and it's called The Phantom of the Pit. Now, I don't know who The mm -hmm. Phantom of the Pit was, but in this book there, which is a free, a free for all available on the internet, they're, they're essentially describing that the number one trait for a trader is behavioral modification, which is, is something that I mm -hmm. absolutely think is gospel. And then there's this tiny sentence in this big book and it says so essentially as you can see it is the best losers that wins and the the essence of it is that those people who can handle to take losses the quickest are the ones that will actually survive and prosper there's another mm -hmm. famous trader a very good trader called marty swartz in america american trader pit trader Mm -hmm. um, sorry, Pitbull is the book he wrote. And he also writes that he n didn't start making serious money trading until he learned to lose well. And I think mm -hmm. there's something in our behavioral traits as human beings that is just not constructed in a way that, that makes us risk takers. That means that we need to learn to think differently. And essentially, we also have a, need to have a very different relationship to how we handle losses. Because normally, we don't take losses very kindly as human beings because we see it as a slight to our ego. And what my book is essentially taking readers through is a journey on how to become the idealized version of yourself as a trader. And that's that, that's essentially the uh, the story that I that I wanted to put wow. out there. Not a book about technical analysis, but a, essentially a book about self analysis. Yeah, well, that's certainly good. Tom, could you stay with us for just a little segment? The folks are asking how they want how they can get the book. So Absolutely. stay with us. We got two minutes of uh, okay. paying the bills, and we'll be right back with Tom Hugard, folks. Trader Tom, we'll be right back. of booming inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Now, toll free at 1 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're chatting with Tom Hugard of uh, Trader Tom, also the author of the new book, Best Loser Wins. How can the folks get a copy of the book, Tom? Well, I think there's uh, several outlets that sell them. I know Amazon.com is selling them. Mm -hmm. And I also think that you can buy them on Audible. And I know that there's an American gentleman who uh, was hired to narrate it, and he did a phone. It's a bit odd to hear me with my Danish accent speak perfect American. But, uh, if, he, <laughs> <laughs> but if you can live with that, he's done a tremendous job in, uh, in narrating it as an audio book. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, audio books are fabulous. That's really great. Hey, listen, I know you're real busy today, but thanks for joining us, buddy. And we're going to have you back maybe in a couple of weeks and uh, chat with you again about how sales are going and anything else you want to share with us. Many thanks. Anytime. Okay. Thank you so you much, Larry. Thank you, Tom. Tom Hugard, folks. Trader Tom about his new book. The Best Loser Wins. I sure love that title. The reason why I like the title, folks, in order to be a winner, you got to realize when you're losing because losing is like breathing in our business. And I mean really like breathing. The only way you can get profits is to take you know, calculated risks, and that what, that's what we try to do here. We're not always right all the time, but we're right more times than we're wrong, and that's the whole key to what we're looking at. Now, I posted the first chart today, which is the German DAX, and as you can see, the German DAX has been in a really profound uh, downtrend here over the last uh, several hours. Uh, after we had that beautiful three drive to a top pattern, you can just see it just as uh, perfect as you possibly can. A, B equals C, D lined up uh, just absolutely uh, spot on. So the next one we're going to take a look at is we're going to take a look now at the um, FTSE because that's just across the pond from the old boys there in the U.K., and you'll see the FTSE um, market has been a little different. And as a matter of fact, it's been the absolute mirror image of what the uh, DAX has been doing. The FTSE has actually had a pretty good rally here. And as you can see here, ABCD is everywhere. And there's one coming up here at the 61% retracement. Probably, if it hasn't reached it, it's probably very, very close to it uh, right now because we've had a nice rally uh, in the stock market. And we'll cover the stock market in just a little bit. I will be doing Tom O'Brien's show 
at the 3 o'clock time frame today, and then I'll also be doing it on Monday. Uh, folks, our guest tomorrow will be Stan Harley of the Harley Stock Market Letter. He will be on tomorrow, so we'll look forward to hearing what Stan has uh, tomorrow also. Okay, now I wanted to bring to your attention uh, a very, very important chart, and let's just get it up here. It's is the one that we are focusing on today because it started out uh, working pretty good. This is the uh, chart of the gold. Uh, we just made a 382 retracement here last night. The number we were looking at was 1773. We got to 1778, then we broke down to 1764. We're trading around 1771 right now. So the risk on that trade, if you have that trade on, your risk is only going to be $3. Above 1775, you don't want it. And the reason why is, it's got to hold right where it is, or we don't like to have anything to do with it, folks. That's the bottom line. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. So pay really a closer to attention to this one, folks. Look at the downtrend that we've been in here, you know, for quite some time. You know, this tells us it looks like we're still going to be going lower here, but maybe not today. That's, a, that's the bottom line of what we're watching here. Uh, in the gold market. We're having incredible swings in some of these things, folks. I mean, uh, and <laughs> this is what we like to see. I'll bring one up to you yesterday, and this is way down from, from where the ABCD completed, but here was one that we talked about yesterday uh, before it happened. This was the, um, you'll, you'll see it there. There's where we were yesterday. You can see here, and then last night, you can see we broke all the way down. We're making a big ABCD to the downside down in here now in the euro. Now this is the most actively traded thing in the world. You can see how perfect it is. There's A, B, C, D, just absolutely spot on. A tad above the 382 uh, level, just taking out those old stops right here, completing the A, B, C, D. In fact, there's a double A, B, C, D. You can see another one here, A, B, C, D. I didn't even draw that one in, but that was lined up too. That's when you have a double ABCD pattern, which makes it, uh, you know, even better. So that's why we watch these things. But boy, folks, the the volatility that we're seeing today in some of these things is uh, it uh, makes you a real believer in some of the things that we that we like to talk about and look at. Let me show you uh, yesterday. You know, we, we were talking about the corn market yesterday. I want to give you a, a ten, uh, big 10-4 here on the, the corn for today. We'll get this up here so you, all the folks can see it. There was the big break we had yesterday. Remember, I had my stop a little too close in here. Market dropped $1,000. And then from there, it rallies all the way up to the 78% level, which is the old sign of the devil, folks, 666. And from there, what do we do? We drop another 18 cents to the downside. So lots of swings going on in these things. And uh, if you pay attention to some of these numbers, uh, they won't get you to the uh, promised land most of the time, but they're going to keep you out of the dark forest. That much I can absolutely assure you because they, they do appear over and over again, and they are predictable within limits. And I wanted to show you one here uh, today that is uh, very, very exciting to look at. That is the crude oil market here today. This is a 15-minute chart, which, as you know, I do like 15-minute charts because you get to see several days' action, plus you get to see the ABCDs in their beauty. And you can see here the ABCD here this morning in the crude oil A, B, C, D. And we have fallen off the bottom of this chart here, folks. It's broken so much, well over $2,000 just with a simple, tiny A, B, C, D up in here. If you counted the bars, folks, just counted the bars in the A, B leg and counted the bars in the C, D leg, that in itself, you know, <laughs> that's time and price being squared, and that's why you really got to pay really, really close attention to that. That's why I think it's important. By the way, uh, in Tom's, Tom O'Brien's show today at 3 o'clock, I'm going to go over the metals markets, copper, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, and then also I want to... Uh, uh, go over some of the, the the GDX stock and where it is and stuff like that so we can see a, a longer-term and shorter-term picture of where the gold is and what are the possibilities of the precious metals having a sustained move 
uh, you know, we had a pretty big move from 1876 up to uh, 18, uh, seven, 1676 up to uh, 18, uh, what was that number, 72, 75, whatever it was. And then we just made the 382 uh, last night. So we're going to find out if it's going to be the area where it's going to have some problems. So let's pay close attention to that one. We got a break coming up here pretty soon, I believe. And we get back from the break, we're going to talk about the euro just a little bit more because uh, the euro has got some big, uh, big, big problems longer term. Right now, it's trying to, you know, back and fill and fill everything up. We're also going to talk about the treasury bonds because there again, we're in an area where we should be getting some type of a bounce, which we're getting today. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I want to share with you some of the volatility we're seeing in the stock market, too, because it's following these numbers uh, really quite nice. Hold on one second, and we'll get this chart up here to uh, be able to take a look at it here. There's where we go. All right, there you go. You can see this is the Dow E-mini. Uh, it's basically a 15-minute chart. I like to see 15-minute because you see ABCDs. You can see we have beautiful ABCD pattern up at the top here. You pull back, beautiful 382 retracement, come all the way back down, make a big ABCD, and then back up to the 61% retracement. And now we're approaching to get up to the 78% retracement, it looks like. Market is still uh, firming up here. Uh, longer term, we're at a really critical level here. 
uh, in the stock market. I want to bring this up to you uh, just to show you what I'm looking at because, you know, I, I follow these number sequences pretty good. I don't follow the news at all. But if we'll take a look here, this is the longer term time frame going over the last uh, five or six days. As you can see here, there's a five day pattern in here. There was our top up here where we recommended this was where the market should start down from that we were at 47. Uh, 35, I believe, in the S&P, uh, 34,200 in the Dow Jones. And, of course, we had a big breakdown here all the way down to 47.10. That was one standard deviation, folks. We pointed that out to you yesterday, saying we probably should get a rally. And you notice here we've jumped around quite a bit. We're trading at uh, 40. I just saw it go across the tape at 43. Uh, let's try it again, Larry. 42.68. Or was it 41.68? Let's try 41.68. That might be a little bit better. Yeah, it's 41.68. And as you can see from this, that uh, the number up here is at uh, 40. The 382 retracement is at 41.90. Uh, and we got to 41.86 uh, early this morning. And then, of course, we backed off a little bit. But uh, this may this is a, this is what I think is a two-day rally here, folks. And the folk, all the big dudes, of course, in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, you know, having their old Texas caviar and stuff. Those of you that don't know what that is, it's salsa with uh, cream corn or canned corn. Anyway, uh, that's very popular here uh, in Tucson. Anyway, that was the 382. If you look at the 382 and the Dow Jones E-mini, uh, that comes in substantially higher up there at 33,233. We got to 33,233, but we missed it by 100 points last night. And then we broke, you know, we were up 250. We broke to be down 50, so we dropped 300 points. And then we've been bouncing back and forth, you know, ever since that, uh, ever since that time. And we're trading right around, I think, right around 3,300 right now uh, as, as we look at some of these markets uh, uh, going through some of these things here. By the way, uh, regarding Tom Hugard, you know, he has a paper called, uh, this was a prelude to the book called The Best Loser Win. It's one of the best papers I've ever read on losing. It's about how you must think like a loser. Losers thinks how much money I can lose. A winner thinks, uh, let's try that again, Larry. <laughs> a loser thinks, how much money can I lose? He's always worried about how much money he's going to, to uh, you know, to do it. You know what I mean? To make. Did I do that wrong again? A, a winner thinks how much money I can lose. A loser thinks how much money I can win because they're focusing on the money that they can win. This is how Las Vegas makes all their bread. Is they're you know following people that think they can hit three sevens all the time on the slot machine or roll sevens on the dice you know red and black all the time on the roulette wheel that's not the way it is you've got to think how much money you've got to risk so it's the best loser wings the loser is the one that thinks you know how much am i going to lose that's the guy that's going to be the big winner so pay attention to that folks it's uh very very important if you'd like a copy of that paper i do have it on file uh, send it to Larry at tradingtutor.com, and I'll fire it out to you. And uh, you'll, you know, I think you'll enjoy it very much if you don't already have it. I've been talking about that paper for well over two years because I, I was watching him getting ready to formulate the book. And gosh darn, he had publishers lined up wanting to do it and because he's such a good speaker. But he did a great job with the book, too. Okay, let's move on here to a couple other things that we want to cover as we're going through here today. Watch this natural gas, folks. <clears throat> the prices of natural gas are 10 times more than they are. I believe someone said on the news today it was 10 times more for natural gas over there than over here. I think it's went up 10 times as much, but I don't think it costs 10 times as much right now. But it, it's really gone crazy. They're talking about, and remember, this is summertime over there. What are they going to do when you know November, December, January, February comes up? You know, Germany is going to be in big trouble because, you know, they import all that stuff. You know, the other parts of the Europe can get by, you know, by getting it from other countries. But, boy, it's it's really tough for them uh, over there in Germany for some reason, the pipeline or whatever it happens to be. They're going to be in big trouble in the wintertime. But you know what will probably happen, boys and girls? This is my prediction. We'll probably have the warmest winter in 200 years. That's usually how it goes, because every time they start beating the bushes about something, 
there's always a bumblebee in the bush and out it'll pop and shut the front door and raise the rent and it won't happen you know, nearly as much. That's absolutely for sure. Since we're talking about natural gas, I just want to show you, I, I did this this morning uh, because I figured it was going to have one heck of a run. I just wanted to get this up here to show you the natural gas today because it did the same pattern that we had in the crude oil. You can see the the beautiful A, B, C, D pattern right there at the 78% level at 94. Look at that, folks. That that dropped $5,000 all the way down here, okay? And now it's gone above those numbers. Well, it's back to those numbers again. In other words, we went all the way down to the 78% level. That completed, actually, the A, B, C, D. There's an A, B, C, D right down there. There it is. And what did it do? It rallied all the way back up to touch this. And now it's trading right around that level now. I think I just saw it go across the tape at around 93, 93. But this has got, if we can close above 10, this thing's got 14 written across its forehead. I mean, it really does. And the old high, remember, years ago was 17 in natural gas. One of the biggest days I ever had was in a spot contract of natural gas. I didn't know it was into delivery, but I sold one, not paying any attention to it. I put the stop in and was doing other things, and uh, it, it made $13,000 on the close. I, I, it, <laughs> total, uh, total surprise to me. Now, I want to share with you. This, got a, this is share time for Mr. Rogers. We've got a chart here from our good friend Jeff over in uh, New Jersey. And uh, he's got a beautiful chart here showing the 135 pattern that we're seeing here in the Swiss franc. Hold us, get this up here. And you'll be able to see it real easy. This is a, a beautiful 135 pattern, as you can see here. There's your one, there's your three, there's your five. You got lower tops, just exactly the time frame between the, the shoulder or the, the, the peaks are just absolutely spot on. Uh, uh oh, it should be working now. Do we have it? Uh oh, is it working? 10 4, 10 4, is the chart up? Uh, someone give me a big 10 4 on that because I don't know whether it is or not. It is up. Okay. So that's what we're looking. That sets you, shows you where your profit objective is. Your loss is if you go above that high now, and it's working pretty good. So those that's exactly a one three five pattern, folks. You have lower tops, and uh, in a downtrend, and that's what you're supposed to do. Trade in the direction of the trend. That one three five pattern absolutely forces you to do it. Plus, it's got the harmony that you need. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Right, folks, I posted the chart of the daily Treasury bonds showing you that we were looking for the market to come down and make those lower lows, which we did. We didn't quite make the ABCD that measured to 135.15. We got to 136.06. We've rallied just over uh, one and a half points right now. We're trading, I saw where we're trading 137.17. And so that tells us that we're pretty much uh, had a pretty good bottom in here. But this market is extremely bearish, folks. The Fed is between a rock and a hard place. They have to raise rates just to keep inflation at bay. And everybody's saying, well, inflation's going away. Well, <laughs> if you believe that, boys and girls, Santa will be a little bit late reaching you on New Year's or Christmas Day. But uh, he will be coming. I mean, this, uh, this inflation does not leave you just after, you know, one really bad bout. It just comes in waves. You know, we've seen what's happened to the grain markets uh, having, you know, pretty big moves. Big, big back off in the, in the crude oil, though. We stop and think we came off 22 percent in the crude oil. We're bouncing back a little bit right now. But uh, that's another one to pay a very, very close attention to also. So need to pay close attention to those. And the reason for that and the reason for that is inflation is here to stay, folks. It's not going to go away. And it's not going to go away easily. That's the main thing that you got to remember as you're looking at some of these things here unfolding here today. Okay, now what we're going to do is we've had a request to uh, take a look at one of the metals. And I want to get this up here. I'm going to be covering this uh, a little bit uh, more in depth here uh, at, at the Tom Show, uh, Tommy O'Brien Show, at uh, Tom O'Brien Show at the uh, top of the hour at uh, 3 o'clock today. I'll be doing that, and I'll be covering an updated version of copper, palladium, platinum, gold, silver, and also the GDX to see where we are within that because these markets are in tremendous downtrends. And, uh, you know, we're looking to see maybe they're going to turn here, maybe not, I don't know. But look at the nice rally we've had here uh, since mid-June here in the uh, – we almost made the 382 yesterday in the uh, – Copper, we might have made it today. I have to double check that. That's one of the things that I will be that I will be looking at right now. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. The next thing we always talk about because we're getting down to areas where we got to be ready to see some type of reversal. This happens to be the chart of the weekly chart of the euro, and uh, we still believe we're heading towards 96. We're trading at 99 and change right now, so we've got a little bit lower to go to the downside. And at that point, we should get a pretty good rally. But this thing, you know, we could get a rally from 95 up to, you know, 102 and then back down again, folks. Remember, that it's, it's, this euro used to trade and was 22 years ago here in Tucson. And my grandson was uh, was born, and by golly, the euro was trading at 86. And from 86, it went to 160. So this thing has huge moves. So we're thinking it's going to get to 95, 
and at 95, we're going to be taking a look at it from the long side. Makes beautiful ABCDs. I posted a couple of them here this morning to let you see uh, what it's doing, but uh, that's pretty much what we're looking at here. These markets, uh, you know, they they tend to once they get in these trends, they tend they tend to stay that way. And you can see by the what's happening in the stock market, they're still going up. So by golly. There's no reason why it can't go higher. We uh, haven't made new highs yet in the E-mini S&P. I just saw a trade go by at uh, 41.73, I believe, and the old high was 41.86. Remember, the important number here to watch is 41.90. That's the number. We're 15 handles away or so, 16 handles away, so pay attention to that. That's the one that's really really super important to uh, look at that's uh that's the one that is is really important that's the 382 from the high we made way back last thursday folks when we were making the big top and everybody thought the market would never go down well it went down for what three days monday tuesday wednesday we're bouncing here wednesday thursday probably into friday maybe it stops today that i don't know but uh that's near to here to there we'll pay close attention to that also as we Watch some of these things unfold here uh, that we're looking at today here. Hold on just a second. I want to double check something. I want to make sure I don't have uh, that I don't that I don't have an order working in one particular thing that I want to be uh, selling uh, very very soon and it hasn't come yet, but I'm waiting for it. Okay, now let's move on to a question about uh, one of the grain markets, uh, and that happens to well, it's not a grain actually, it's sugar. We want to get this up here. We'll get this up here to take a look at it. We've had a pretty good uh, bounce in sugar here. You'll see we had a pretty big sell-off. You can see the ABCDs all the way down. Look at the big one right here, folks. A, I didn't even draw that one in. A, B, C, D. It's a beautiful A, B, C, D. Spot on. Market comes right down to the retracement, and boom, back up it went. So that's what you're trying to find here is the places where we can get in and not risk very much. We don't trade sugar very often, but we do watch it very closely. You'll notice the, the beautiful uh, butterfly top that it made here at the high. Market comes down, rallies up to 78% level, down to the ABCD, up to the 618, and then makes the A. B, C, D to the downside, up to the 61% retracement of this high, down to the 61% retracement, and up we go again. So, Randy, that's what we're paying attention to here in the sugar. And there was one other one that someone asked a question about, and we'll get this up so they can see it. Don't see this one too often, uh, and that is the live hogs. We're going to be looking at August hogs up in here because we have – I'll get this up here to see it. We've had one heck of a break. Since this chart came in, we expected it to come in, uh, but it, it's had a huge break here because the price of hogs went way up here. Look at this beautiful A, B, C, D bottom. You know who? We've got to get Rich Anderson on the line here. We haven't had Rich on the show for a long time. We'll have Rich next week. I talk to him every day, but I forget to ask him to uh, be on the show. Anyway, you can see here we have a beautiful A, B, C, D in the hogs, and then boom, away it went. Uh, jumping over uh, $20 uh, uh, per contract, which is over $8,000 uh, in hogs over a period of about uh, a month. That's one heck of a move. So that's what you see. We're looking for a pullback here to the 382 retracement. We're down into this area right now, but I uh, haven't reached it yet. So it's getting close, but no cigar. Nothing to wait on as we uh, watch these things uh, here unfold. And then we'll be moving here to the uh, see what the next one is going to be. Okay, hold on one second here, folks. I want to get one other chart that someone asked about, and that is uh, oh, we're going to love this one, Coco. Holy cow! If you're asking stuff about uh, softs, no one hardly ever does that. Okay, here's the price of Coco. Beautiful pattern, same as all the other. There's your three drive to a top pattern right there. The market comes down. There's your Gartley right at the 61% retracement. And then you start your move down. There's your one, three, five pattern right here. That leads to the A, B, C, D to the downside right here. A, B, C, D to the downside right here. And now you're pulling back and getting ready to make a really, really nice one, three, five pattern here 
in Coco getting ready to turn and I believe get back up into this area of resistance up here about another 15 or 20 cents higher uh, in the cocoa market. So let's take a break. 877-927-6648. Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC Capital Market Assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're back, and I just wanted to remind us, uh, tomorrow we're going to have Stan Harley as our guest at the half-hour break. Uh, Monday, uh, we have uh, I'm going to have Rich Anderson on next week for sure, and we'll definitely try to get a few other guests that we haven't had on for a while. To uh, Jim Bartley only being one, he's just been swamped with his traveling and stuff. So, but we'll get him on as, as soon as we can. And also, J.C. Parrots of All Star Charts will be available next week. He told us for a session, so we'll line him up. So uh, I want to remind ourselves here, uh, if you do want to get a copy of that uh, paper, it's Larry at TradingTutor.com, and it's called The Best Loser Wins by uh, Tom Hugard. It was written a couple of years ago. That was a prelude to the book. It's a paper of about, oh, I think it's about 14 or 15 pages, very, very excellent article about 
you know, thinking and, you know, learn, learn to think in the right direction. It's not what you think, it's how you think, and that's what the whole sequence is about. But if you want that paper, just drop me a line and I'll be happy to uh, send it to you so you'll be able to uh, see what we're looking at here as we're going through. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for today. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you do have any more questions, folks, I'll be on 3 o'clock with the Tom O'Brien show from three to four o'clock today. I'm closing up for him. And then I'm also going to be closing up for him on Monday because he's in a, I'm covering some of the time when I was missing it with my uh, strained vocal cords and stuff. I'm filling in the time that uh, people were sending in for me. So it's uh, it's going to be enjoyable this afternoon because I'm going to be talking about the uh, the metals markets and some of the gold stocks that, that I like to look at. You know, I don't look at many of them, but the ones I do look at, you know, sometimes have a pretty good, interesting thing to, uh, to pay attention to. But frankly, I'm a futures trader, so it doesn't make a whole lot of difference. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, boys and girls. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. 